We are here, we are here, we are here. What is an amazing day. Everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up UCOM. Let's take a look at what's going on in the market. We are in a monthly time frame. Price action. It's currently a bearish candle, last candle in the market. Price action highest high of that overall market. Lowest low. And we have the midpoint. So you can see that price is working its way up. <laughs> we do we did receive the break of this area. So the market broke the midpoint line, came back to retest twice and pushed up further. That's also a pattern. Let's walk. Let's walk in closer to see what's going on. So in that area of that pattern, we got multiple pushes down to that bottom, look like three. So we do have that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg retest, market pushed up one. So market pushed up from a triple bottom. Price action broke. So we had that triple bottom, came up to a high, came back down to retest. That's another break and retest of the next level. And we are looking for confirmation in this area to see if that market's going to push up or push down or continue or consolidate sideways. We're going to see if this area price will be respected for that market to push up or that market is still coming down previous areas. Headed down to the weekly time frame to see what's going on. Price action on a weekly time frame is a bullish candle. So price <clears throat> wants to go up. So we're going to see if that support is to respect it. Because if not, if you put this area in a consolidation, if the area is respected, uh, we'll see that market respects and go up. Or we'll see that market push down a bearish candle and work its way down further. Let's take a look at what price is coming from at this high. We have multiple touches at that resistance. So we look at the overall of the two spikes, the bearish candle. So overall, first leg, second leg, third leg, market pushed down. So that's an M pattern. And price came back for a retest. So that's a double bottom and a retest or a triple top. And market pushed down once, market pushed down twice, market pushed down a third time. Still could push down one more time. If not, like I said before, market could create some momentum and respect this area and come back up. So what price is doing right now, price, third, the third to last candle in the market was bearish candle, so price broke. Uh, price action, the second can last candle, came back to retest that area, and that's what we look for that confirmation to see that market's going to break up and break down, as I said earlier. So now, head down to the daily time frame to see what's going on. On the daily, price action is a bullish candle, so price is trying to work its way up from this area to see if it's going to be respected. If not, it's going to break down. Overall, still, price in that area is in a consolidation. So we still look for something to break out of that area or break low. If not, that market will continue to consolidate. <clears throat> Excuse me. If price is trying to create some type of pattern in this area, let's see what's going to draw, what's trying to draw out. If that market is going to be respecting, go up. <clears throat> we'll be looking for that first leg, second leg. Third leg, hold on, let's get that, go right back. So market spiked down for that bearish candle, that first leg, market spiked up second, third, pushed up for the fourth, came back to retest. So we have an incline double bottom, oh, market ran into a single top, a retest and pushed back, back down to that midpoint. So market's still in that overall consolidation, headed down to the four hours to see what's going on. Price action of four hours, a bullish candle, so price is trying to work its way up. We can see this area of these touches at the bottom <clears throat> where price may be respected. The market's still in that overall consolidation, waiting for the breakout, headed down to three. One to three hour time frame, price acts as a bullish candle. Market's just consolidating. So it says, draw out what we see. So we have a major spike down right here first leg, second leg, third leg. Market puts up for that fourth. Came back to retest, and market's pushing up again. So market is at the bottom, located a triple bottom or a double bottom and retest. So we're going to see if that market is going to respect for the uh, 
So price action basically uh, breaking, coming back to re see if we're gonna get that retest, let the market push up further, or we'll just get bullish candles working his way up further from that triple bottom. Headed down to the two, price action candle. It's a bullish candle, so price is still trying to just work his way up. That's the idea, so we can see those area supports here, here, and that's another one. So this price actually looks like a doji. The market could be pushing up if it finds an area where it's going to respect. We'll see that market push up further. If not, then we'll see that market's coming down. The price is coming down. Price is coming down from a double top or multiple pushes to that top, but we're just going to pay attention to what's going on in this area here. So looking at that first leg, second leg, third leg, market push down from that fourth. So that's a double top. We did have that break of that midpoint, so the market broke that midpoint, came back to retest, and we're going to see the market's going to break, work its way up further. If not, the market's going to retest, as we can see, and push down, so price be coming from a double top and a retest. But we're still waiting in that area for the market to identify itself. Headed down to the one hour bullish candle. So the market is shown, reading all the same thing as we walk down the market further, we can see it more clear. So now we get to see those dips in the market of the area support. We can see that incline where that market is pushing up. And so look at the first leg here, second leg, market pushed down for that third, came back up for the fourth. This is a retest, price action the doji. If it respects here, market's pushing up, coming from a double bottom and uh, on a retest. Headed down to the 45. One hour 45 is reading the same thing. So as the 30, the more we walk down this uh, time frame, the more the patterns are clear. So we can see the dips in the market. So we want to see if the market's going to respect this area to work its way up. Price action candle is a bullish candle. <clears throat> we want price action candle to close above the second and the third last candle, especially the third last candle, look more like a doji. So if that price closes above that third last candle, closes out that market, push up. And we'll be seeing that market point from that double bottom and that retest. Not then we'll see that rejection with prices breaking that way from the first, second, third, pu pushing down for that fourth leg, with, which would create the M pattern. Headed down to the um, five minute time frame. Price action bullish, still trying to work its way up. I probably want to see price engulf this area here. Push up further, close out. To see that market's gonna be respected. If not, market could be rejected and drop back down. So price be coming from a first, second, third, fourth, retest one, retest two. So we'll be identifying multiple pushes up to that top, which would be four, quadruple top, or a double top and a double retest. Headed down to a three minute time frame. Uh five, three still reading the same thing, headed down to the one. One as well. You can see those patterns in here as well with one minute. So it's like a head and shoulders pattern. So we have the, like the left shoulder. It's a double left shoulder because there's two dips here, which created that W. Then we have the head. And then we have the right shoulder, which is a, just a single bottom dip and market pushed up. So we can see the markets coming from that um, inverted head and shoulders pattern. Very important pattern that we can see that market pushing up back to or up to the previous area where it came from earlier. And actually broke the midpoint of that area. So if you look at price action, highest high, lowest low, midpoint, price just broke and retest on a midpoint. Now it's working its way up higher. So we gotta see what's gonna happen once price get up to this area here. Okay guys, very important information. Head over to Forex Pattern Cheat Sheet. Understand patterns in the market. We did a, we did identify the head and show, inverted head and shoulders pattern. That's also on this chart here, which is will be here, head and shoulders pattern. So you have an idea what market direction I'm going to go into. Also, break on retest strategy. Very important. When the market breaking out resistance support, what's going to happen next? Okay, guys. This is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. U-C-O-M. Stop.